Hey folks, um, welcome to For You Chemistry. Uh, my name's Mr. Parsons. I'm going to give you a quick orientation into Brightspace. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have used Brightspace before, probably a few times. The way I set things up is different. Um, I think the two big things you have to be aware of is the For You YouTube channel. So I'll post a lot of videos up, teaching videos and also our OneNote. So you're not going to have an icon that tells you where to go for content. You're going to go into the class OneNote. So if you click on OneNote, and I already have this open in another tab, but if you click on the OneNote, here's our class notebook. Along the left hand side, you'll see things like important course information, organic chemistry, heat and rates, etc. Those are all the units. And then beside that are all the pages. So for the first morning, this is the work right here. There's a worksheet. It says it's a PDF. There's a worksheet. I'll probably end up sending those out to you, even though they're on the site. Some people, especially if they have Apple products, sometimes have trouble accessing things. Here are some other videos. So I give some supplementary material that you can take a look at. Um, but basically what I want you doing is using my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go back now. Oh, there's our first worksheet that you have. So this is your morning's work. Uh, this will be Tuesday. Let me see my calendar here. This will be, excuse me for one second. This will be Tuesday, February 2nd that you work away on this. That will be our first day of classes. I'm now going to go back to our site. If you click on the YouTube icon, what you're going to see is that I have a YouTube channel. Now, there's no videos in the playlist yet. I'm going to start to make those. The first one that goes up there will be this orientation video that you're watching. Um, we will go back. Now, when I ask you to put a sign, oh, Urkund is just a similarity check. So if you're plagiarizing, I'll know through this. Class list allows you to see if your um, classmates are online. So if you take a look at the names in the class list, if you see a green dot beside their name, they're online, then there's assignments. So what I've done is I've made a test drop box. If I tell you to hand something in, you just go to assignments, go find the assignment we're looking for, and then you add a file. So I'm gonna press add a file. I want to get this file from my computer. So what you will have done <coughs> is you will have saved your work. So <clears throat> I'm going to go into my OneDrive. Um, I'm going to put in there action verbs. Okay, so I've uploaded it. I hit add and then I hit submit. You may need to watch that a couple of times if you haven't used the assignments function, but that's how you add something in. I'll now be able to mark this and you'll see how you did in the grades. You will also get a receipt. So you'll get a submission receipt saying that it's been successfully handed in. And don't worry, if you don't hand something in, I will remind you. Okay, that is the orientation. Uh, please contact me if you need anything. We will be meeting on Teams at 9 in the morning every day. There will be YouTube videos. I'm always um, available for personal mm -hmm. lessons. So I have a um, video site set up so that I can do full lessons for you if need be. Okay, folks, good luck with things, and let's hope we have a good first week.